TheMarshallMan.com. Lohan Rui and Wu Chi are very long, okay? Uh, Lohan Rui has 108 forms, Wu Chi has 36 forms. And unless you live in a monastery and spend, you know, six to eight hours a day practicing, I think it's going to be very hard for you to gain any sort of mastery la, over these two arts, you see. And furthermore, there are nobody teaching these arts nowadays, okay? Or rather, I won't say nobody, la, but there's very few of them, okay, who, who know these arts because a large number of those people who learned in the old days under Grand Master Chi have passed away. And this art does not exist in China anymore, okay? But fortunately, uh, Grand Master Chi and my father decide, decided to create Yan Shao Kong precisely because of these reasons. One, they felt that it was difficult to learn because they already have been teaching it for maybe close to 10 years and they realized that many students uh, have difficulty picking it up. So they wanted to create an art that was easier to learn. Secondly, they realized also that these two arts were very important arts and it would be a shame to lose it you see, if nobody learned it. So hence, Yan Shou Kong was created for that reason, to preserve these two arts and to make it easier for students to learn and practice. Now, when I say when they created these arts out of uh, Wu Qi and Lohan Rui, it doesn't mean that it was simplified. Rather, I would use the word distilled, you know. So by distillation, what you're saying is that you're concentrating something and making the end result is better than the original parts, you see. So that's what they did. They took the best parts of Lohan Rui and Wu Qi and they distilled it into Yan Shao Kong. So Yan Shao Kong is a much easier, easier in that sense to learn, right? And quicker to learn for sure. But it still has a lot of depth, okay? And although the forms are short, it takes you no more than maybe 10 to 15 minutes to learn a form, but you can be practicing that form for five years and you will still be discovering little nuances and little details in the form, you see. So that's what I mean by depth, right? So each of those forms still has a lot of depth. Doesn't mean that you learn that 30 of, you know, movements, you have mastered the art, no. <laughs> that doesn't mean that because like I said, the whole purpose of the external movements is to move the internals. And if you cannot feel the internals move, if you cannot control and use those internal parts to generate energy, uh, you haven't mastered the form. You see? So, so all those process, that, that five stage process, right? each one is at a deeper level. Lah. So you could imagine that when you learn each form, you've got at least five levels to deal with. You see? How to use the outside to move the inside, how to be aware of the inside, and so on. Right? So each, so Yan Shao Kong has a lot of depth in it. Right? And Therefore, it preserves the, you know, the, the goodness, lah, you can say, of the Lohan Rui and the Wu Qi. But it is, makes it uh, more approachable and learnable lah, in our modern day context. TheMarshallMan.com